Sun is shining on me, it must be some type of symbolism. Oh wait, it's not anymore. Yeah. How about this is okay? Oh hello. We lost signal. We lost the signal. The signal was lost. Yeah. Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, 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 gentlemen. What time is it here? I don't know. I'm on my phone, so I can't see. So anyway, uh, we wanted to let Bia finish what she was saying because some of you guys think that you care about our baby more than my wife cares or I care about our baby and that somehow you think that you're capable of Anyway, let me just let my wife say yeah, it so I don't speak. misspeak. You can Go say ahead. that. You Go can ahead. finish what you're saying. Please. Well, people somehow think that, that, that you know, you know better how to take care of our, our child than we do. I, trust me, uh, we, we definitely know how to keep our, our children safe. So we're going to do that. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead. Do your thing. Go ahead. I'm very annoyed. Yeah, so tell us how you feel. Tell us how you feel. Tell us how you it's feel. It's hard when you're being silly. Um, yeah, I just think it's it's very, very ridiculous and to be honest, very annoying for people to act like they know exactly what we should have done. They want to tell us what we should have done, what we shouldn't have done. They want to tell me how I should feel, how I shouldn't feel, how I should talk about it. I mean, I'm going to say that I still felt protected by God. I still felt that he was protecting me and, and protecting my baby. Yeah, I felt protected by you. I know that if if you needed to do anything else, you would have done. But I also, we're not going to get into unnecessary trouble just to to prove something to someone who thinks we should have done something different. When if we did that, people would still be unhappy. Um, but just don't act like you care about my baby more than me. How would you know? How would you know? And it's like... Y'all don't, um, don't upset my wife, y'all. And that is mean. Here's the thing. YouTube is hard, right? Being on social media as a public figure or an influencer or, you know, a, a, a person who is well-known... It can be difficult because everything you do and everything you go through is put under a microscope and then examined and then it's you know it's easy to look back and know exactly how you should have handled a situation i do agree with you that people mean well and they want to just give advice but man sometimes people need to just not give advice and just pray for us pray for you know these situations it's very easy to just hindsight is always 2020 and uh you know, I had somebody on Facebook earlier tell me that basically in some sarcastic way, this lady who's really followed the ministry for like eight years or something, you know, was really kind of sarcastic and said that like, I did a good job of protecting my wife by running away or something, which is like, I wasn't running away, but there was a moment where I had to run from this old guy who was trying to attack me because otherwise I would just end up doing something that would be far worse. And, uh, you know. What do you expect from me? You know, what do you expect me to do in that situation? I just, it's, these, these situations in the moment are very difficult to navigate. Yeah, she, uh, yes, Esther. Uh, yeah, six and a half or so months pregnant. Seven, seven months, is it full seven months? Because it's 28 weeks. So the, the beginning of the, the third, third trimester, trimester yeah. So, in the month now. you know, um, yeah, but, but we're not going to be in that situation again, as we said. So I don't want to repeat everything that we already said. Uh, yeah, we didn't. We didn't put our baby in danger or our, my wife in danger. Um, you know, we were in a situation we didn't really understand, I guess, the risk. We didn't understand the nature of the, the area. And I think God did a really good job of protecting us, and we didn't really have anything too crazy happen. 
you know um i think i i kept from being angry or acting out in the flesh uh you know you see somebody attack your wife it's very easy to fall into uh negative emotion that's going to end up costing you dearly so although i know someone had done any worse i mean exactly now if somebody had punched her or something like game over my hair, something like that. game over and you're gonna have to pray for me to have forgiveness because it's you know it's really difficult man it's really difficult so um with that said god is faithful we stayed in the spirit we didn't do anything that we regret and uh i think we represented god well and uh that's all we want to say just you guys please pray for us don't be critical you know pray for us don't be critical and just try to be understanding with all due respect being five seven months pregnant why should be at home well with all due respect keep your opinion to yourself because i'm a grown man she's a grown woman don't tell us what we should be I doing i feel like i should be at home like just just sitting around sitting for three months home. waiting on the baby to come for three months come I on feel man very healthy i feel yeah. fine we're gonna go out we're gonna preach the gospel nothing like this has happened so you can have your opinion but it doesn't mean that it's right i don't tell you how to take care of your wife don't tell me how to take care of mine man that's if I it i felt like i should be at home i would just tell my husband like listen honey i think I want to stay at home now and i think you could just go and do the evangelism by yourself well and the the idea is the whole the whole point that we've been you know like this is really the last big trip that we're going to be doing before the baby comes and uh yeah it's easy for you guys to be critical man and i get it like look it's so easy to armchair quarterback and, and do all those things well um, i've been very healthy like yeah. being able to move around all of that it hasn't been any any problem she's been doing fantastic absolutely fantastic we were out so long last night we had like 25 30 people with us last night in downtown london uh we had a big fellowship meal at wingstop we had a lot a lot of really amazing things happen we had so many different people uh preaching and evangelizing it was incredible and nothing happened right there's just this one-off situation and that's just how it be going sometimes. But this has never happened before, and I don't think it will ever happen again. And uh, God protected us. It doesn't mean that we weren't protected. God protected us, for sure. And, uh, yeah, we've been so blessed all week since then. That happened last Sunday. And we've been out almost every single day since then. And it has been absolutely amazing. So spirit-filled. Such breakthrough. Such fellowship. We've had big groups every single day. And none of this would happen if I were just keeping my wife at home, hiding her because I'm too afraid of the world or bad things. I would trust in God, man. I'm going to walk in faith, trust in God. And that's what it is, right? We can't hide at home because we're too worried. Thank you for, you know, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you saying you're proud of us. Um, it means a lot. God bless you guys, man. We love so many of you are so encouraging, so amazing. We've gotten so many gifts since we've been here. Oh, my God. So Mom, I'm telling you, so many people giving us just Hopefully. bags of baby clothes and different things. It's just amazing, beautiful acts of love that we love. We have these beanies. I, uh, you guys saw the, the testimony that we gave for that. So amazing. Yeah, I was wearing And just mine really, just yesterday. so many blessings. We're so grateful and thankful. And, you know, for you guys who are, you know, maybe critical, but it's just because you're worried and you're concerned, I understand. All right, but just trust that we're adults. We're going to make the right decision. We're not going to be in the flesh. If I were in the flesh, I would have just pummeled those guys. But we're not in the flesh. We're in the spirit. We're doing good things. All for God's glory. It's all him. And we give him all the glory. So that's pretty much what we wanted to say. Much love to you guys. Uh, and we'll see you in the next one, all right?